when you're getting ready in the morning, when you're exercising, or when you just need a little boost. Download Mindset and listen to your favorite motivational speeches while getting ready for the day. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't and you'll use your education as an excuse, you'll use your stories as an excuse, you'll use the fact that your father was a cab driver and was a gambler and never had any money. You'll use all of that as your reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you will do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories, you'll let go of your excuses and become who you are destined to become. It is a decision. It's something that you have to decide. And whatever it is that you decide, you're going to end up seeing the evidence for that. So you have to be really careful whether you decide that life is difficult, it's this slew of things that's coming at you that's trying to break you and nothing ever good happens to you. Or if you choose to believe, no matter what happens to you, you can always choose your response. You can always choose to believe that it's happening for you and not to you. And in that perspective, in having that mindset, then you're going to begin to look for the solutions. You're gonna look for the ways out. You're gonna look for the lesson that you can learn in the hardship. That is mindset. It's a subset of beliefs about what you're capable of and what the world really is at its foundation, whether it's working for you or against you. So understand that these things are all a choice. You had me write my vision for health, wealth, relationships, career, business, finances, charity, fun, experiences, everything, every area of my life. You had these documents. He said, I want you to read them every day. And you're gonna do it while you come into the office so that I know that you've done them. And I want, to, I want you to run your fingers across them as you're reading them. And then when you're finished one paragraph, close your eyes and I want you to feel, what would it be like if that was true? So he got me to see it, to touch it, to close my eyes and visualize it and to feel it. So at the time he didn't understand what he was really doing but he was causing me to create new neural patterns in my brain that did not exist before. Let me promise you, if I can do it, you can do it. Too often people look at me as the after picture and they don't realize just how much I had to crawl through, including low self-esteem, massive insecurities, crippling anxiety, having, I, at one point, I couldn't even tell a story in front of five people in my own family because my voice was shaking. I was so freaked the f out. And right now I'm around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! It's like we have about seven people in this room. I routinely speak in front of massive crowds and all of that was a process. It is a process that is teachable. It is things that you can go through to completely and radically change your mindset. And in changing your mindset, you change the wiring of your brain. And that's what I want you guys to understand. You can change the physical structures and the functions of your mind. If you think and you believe and you emotionalize, you visualize, uh, and you create your plan for how am I actually going to achieve this? So what do I need to do? When am I going to do it? How specifically? How am I going to uh, tweak it, measure it, and iterate it so that I'm consistently making progress? I learned the value of progress versus perfection. None of my mentors ever had me focus on perfection. They had me focus on progress to just keep getting better. Little incremental gains every day, every week, every month, every quarter. And even when you move backwards a couple of steps, what's the progress that you made and what you learned? So I was taught that failure is an opportunity to learn. And I was also taught to disassociate me being a failure from failing. This was a big breakthrough moment for me when I really began to research the brain and came across the whole notion of brain plasticity. When I was growing up, people actually debated whether or not an old dog could learn new tricks. And people said that you're born with a certain number of brain cells and that's it. And hey, every time you go out and party, you're just diminishing your brain cells and you die with far fewer than you began with. And now science has proven that absolutely is not true. And being able to imagine that process, I think will really help you guys. Um, 
People also hold the mistaken belief that only kids are able to learn that, you know, up until say 11, 12 or 13, you know, it's easy to learn and people often cite languages. And after that, it gets a lot harder. But again, that just isn't true. It doesn't match the brain science. It just, as a lifestyle, we don't often put ourselves through the paces that kids are going through. And that doesn't mean the kids don't have an easier time. They do, but it is certainly something that you can do to a profound extent as you get older. But thinking that you can't is really gonna hold you back. Initially, it's hard, and you have to use conscious effort to create the new beliefs. He says, but over 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180 days, that new pattern that you're focusing on and paying attention to, your brain basically says, well, I guess you really don't need those old patterns. You keep activating these new ones. Let's just make these ones work, and let's make these real. The very meaning of life is to see how many skills you can acquire that have utility and then put those skills to use in the service of something bigger than yourself. But the only way that you're going to be able to do that is to build into the core of your being the ability to endure. Life is hard. Life is going to kick you in the face. There are going to be a thousand times in your life when you're going to want to give up. And the only thing that is going to see you through, the only thing that's gonna make sure that you actually endure is your mindset. And if you get that right, if you lay the foundation for that, if you put all the pieces in place, then you're going to persevere. Then you're going to push through. Then you're going to be able to see things through to the end. But if you don't do that, then you're going to break. And that's what I see happen to so many people. And that's where my own life started, was not believing in myself. And that is one of the most important things for you to understand, is that your mindset is one of the most important feeders into your perspective, and perspective is everything. I do find myself basically every day having to constantly reorient myself back to the goal, back to the goal. If you're a learner, you're a learner and in learning, you'll be able to actually achieve your goals. So make sure you're obsessed with that. We all have a story. We have a money story, a relationship story, a health story. A, we have a story for everything. And then that story keeps recreating our lives over and over and over again. And we have beliefs that support the story. We have habits that support the story. We have people that support the story. We have systems that support our story. And so my question that I always ask people, who would you be with a different story?